Uh, this here is Parrot OS version 6.0, the home edition. You can use this one as your daily driver. Welcome to another video. Now there are editions of Parrot OS that are designed for hacking and so forth. But this one is just your normal distro and you can still download the tools for those advanced security features if you will need them. By default it comes with Mate desktop environment. It is designed to be a general purpose operating system with the typical Parrot look and feel. On this menu you get the options under privacy we have the tools that are needed for that we have anon surf cryptography meta cleaner and so forth it is available for arm 64 and amd 64 architecture in terms of system requirements you need a dual core processor 1 gb of ram and at least 16 gb of disk space now various apps that come pre-installed for instance for office we have a LibreOffice. For media, we have our VLC media player. We also have the MPV media player. For programming, we get VS Codium. It's more like Visual Studio Code. And for browser, we have Firefox that is pre-installed. Again, for internet, we still get Tor browser. You can install it if you need it. And then there are advanced tools like uh, Gparted. In terms of uh, system usage, let's go to the system monitor. Our RAM usage is about 1.7 GB. I have no swap partition, so system usage is not high. And then for text editor, we get uh, Vim, the Neo Vim, and Pluma. All these are text editors that you can use. Under places, we have uh, your file manager. You can navigate uh, under system. We go to preferences, and you can check your hardware drivers for Bluetooth, your display. Under internet, you get to configure your firewall. It's a normal firewall. And then under administration, we have login window, printer settings, the Synaptic package manager, the one you use to install packages. Parrot OS is Debian based, so you can still use the APT repository via the terminal. We have the control center. Now it's starting to look more like Windows. Now if we go to appearance for now, you can choose whatever theme you like. Uh, under background, let's change this desktop and background to something better. I prefer the bluish one. This one looks much better. At the bottom you have the menu. We have the mage terminal right here. Let's try and run NeoFetch. Under graphics we have GIMP. As you show GIMP for editing your pictures and, and graphic design. Now on the top middle we have uh, the system monitor. Now on the desktop we have the install parrot. This one comes with the Calamaris installer. Right now I'm not installing so I'll just under system tools we have a G parted right here. You can use this one to manage your partitions and add drives. Now if I go to preferences and go to personal go to about me. The username is parrot and the password is parrot. You can change from here if you want. And then about mate. You can also right click on the desktop to now lock the position of the icons if you don't want to move them around and then you can readjust their size by resizing to whatever preferred size you want and then right click also to change the background uh, thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel see you on the next one